and also further is on-chain governance. I, I know lots of blockchain networks are talking about that. Honestly, it's very, very challenging. Technically, it could be very easy, but from governance point of view or from management point of view, it could be very, very difficult. Because you need to define, we need to design several different scenarios. But we wanted to start from simple, starting from small. And also actually back to the governance model, we said we want to build up the balance between decentralization and centralization, right? But in the different stage, when the project just started at the early stage, it could maybe like 80% of centralized and 20% decentralized. But with that kind of uh, maturity of the technical systems and, and the governance model, we can slightly link to decentralized part like step by step, day by day. And eventually it could, can you know, reach to some maybe 50-50, even 80 to 20, when the system becomes more and more robust or strong. So what VeChain is going to do for the massive adoption it's quite simple. We're going to keep the blockchain core um, in a more enterprise-friendly way. So at least here, three major roadmap or three major targets in our roadmap is firstly modularized development. Um, I don't know if any developer here, but actually if you try to develop a blockchain, any blockchain networks, it's like a whole block of codes. It cannot be separated. But in the modern software engineering system, everything is modulized. So you can have multiple teams to work in a parallel and work in a collaborative way, right? So we want to try. I know it's very, very challenging, very, very challenging. But we wanted to make the next version of VeChain blockchain can be modulized. You know, think about um, our target users. It's all about the enterprises, whatever the big enterprises or small startups, right? So we define the three different levels. Either you are like very strong, um, hardcore technical service provider, um, even like a Deloitte. By the way, Deloitte also will be on Thursday. They are building up something on the VeChain blockchain right now. Well, they have been using the Ethereum in the, as private, in private. Yeah, but they are building something on the public blockchain, VeChain, right now. Um, so, they, but they are quite hardcore, honestly. They have like 20 something people. I met the, all of them. I met the CTO, I met the team um, on, on VeChain blockchain right now. So they, you don't need to give them like too much guides or too much instructions. You just provide the documentations, GitHub address. They play by themselves. For example, they create their own blockchain explorer on VeChain by themselves. Wow. Yeah, you just answer some questions. So very limited technical support they can play by themselves. Right? They can provide the different services or applications for their enterprise clients. So that's, that's a very hardcore, like top level of the developers. And the middle developer, like BMW, like, um, like uh, DIG, like, um, um, sorry, like, like uh, DMVGO, they have their own technical team. They know their own ERP system. They know their own certification system, but they don't know about a blockchain. So what are they gonna do? We provide a bus solution on AWS. So you just go through AWS, you have set up your node, you select the template of a smart contract, you generate the API, and you integrate your ERP system quite easy. Okay, that's a middle level. And on top of that, for like a small business enterprises, they know nothing. They don't even have a database. Their database could be uh, Excel, or access is like very luxury equipment for them. Um, so we provide a stop, like one-stop service we call ToChain. Um, you can go to the web portal. You can select what kind of you know, smart country you want to use. And actually, they don't even care about smart country. They just select a different business model. Like, I want to do the, any kind of feeding. I want to do the traceability. And you just upload your own product information and provide the different players along their own supply chain system, and you can use blockchain. Mm -hmm. So I think the very important point here is most of, most of the enterprise or most of the people think 
if I want to do something with blockchain, I want to build up applications. But you don't necessarily need to do that. You just need to use. If you can just use, and this tool can bring the value to your business, why not? Why do you need to build up by yourself? Right? 